and we are off. It could really change your life, let me tell you. I've never seen a team split like that before. <laughs> First birdie of the year. Let's go. Ah, here we go. Good morning, guys. Today's gonna be a good day. A very good day. Just wanted to do more vlogs. Sorry about the hair, but we have a full day ahead of us. Just woke up, it's about eight o'clock. We had a lot of editing done last night, so got a little bit of extra sleep. We have some more work to do this morning, and shoot, I'm just gonna take you on my full day, and I wanna do this more for you guys to show you kinda like the process behind everything. We're gonna play some golf. We have a date night later tonight. We have some work to do this morning, so yeah, you're just gonna come get a little full day in the life vlog, and I wanna do this more for you guys to see everything behind the scenes, so here we go. Let's get to it. Stay. 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 Can you say hi to everybody? Huh? Okay. Good boy. Beautiful morning this morning. Absolutely beautiful morning. It's about 50 degrees or so, and uh, we about to go play some golf. It's kind of funny how um, I am a huge golfer but I'm almost legally blind like these things are thick I don't know if you can see that but man these things are these things are minus seven and a half prescription I don't know if you guys know about vision at all literally if I take these off I can barely even see the camera on here so it's kind of funny yeah I'm excited to see where today takes us I uh, it's found or it's a day after Valentine's Day so I'm gonna go play with my buddy Evan Ingram tied in for the Jaguars and then taking my girl to a good little pop-up Valentine's bar and we actually have some dinner tonight as well so yeah I'm gonna take you through a little bit what I do every day I have a little Q&A YouTube Q&A coming next next vlog series which is gonna be cool um, because I'm answering all you guys' questions that you guys asked me on Instagram if you don't if you don't follow me already on Instagram go check out Evan Thompson 12 that's gonna be a profile that I pretty much post on literally every single hour every day so go check that out and um we're just gonna let up my dog brooks for a little bit and then get back to it all right one thing about me especially in the mornings is i love to get a shower hot and cold and then get to stretching and foam rolling so and i always like to uh put on some worship music when i get my day started get me in some good vibes get my prayers going and then just start the day so that's what we're about to do baby The people want to see the dog. The people want to see the dog. Are you doing any stretching or mobility? Let me see. Oh, are you doing any stretching or mobility? Hey, anyone out there that plays golf for a living, get yourself a dog. Every time you come back from around, you're either good or bad, they're gonna treat you with love when nobody else will. <laughs> he always uh, brightens my day up, morning, day, or night. His name is Brooks. Name the math for Brooks Kepka. Can you say hi? Can you whisper? Can you whisper? He knows uh, this whisper, but it's not doing it for us. I know you guys don't want to hear it. I really, I know. Super Bowl champs, baby! Viva La Vega! I really never was a Chiefs fan, but the way Patrick Mahomes plays the game of football, I just love it. So, a big 15 fan. Got the uh, Super Bowl 53 jersey. I'm gonna get it signed by him when I start my NFL series, so stay tuned for that. This is definitely one of the best times of my day, is getting out here and walking Brooks. Look at it, he even got that fresh, uh, see if you can see it, that fresh master's leash. A little take some time away from my phone, away from reality. Kind of get like 10 to 15 minutes of nice good walk in and I don't know, just think about everything going on. So that's kind of what we're doing, especially with how much content I continue to create every day. I think it's essential to get off your phone, decompress a little bit and just be you for a moment. Like just be present, be in this earth. So that's what we're doing now. Just nice little walk, 
he usually uh, gets pretty tired after about the 15 minute mark. So then we'll take him back in and then we'll uh, head off to the course. All right, a lot of you guys asked about how strategy and content comes into play in my life. Well, here we go. Every morning and pretty much every night, I sit down and I strategize like what I want to create for the next day. And ultimately, this is what keeps the uh, the bills going, really. I think um, being able to document yourself playing golf and like just living your life and getting paid for it is literally insane. So here's my tip to all you guys out there that have a dream or have certain things that are very specific to you that you're good at. Like golf could be an example for me. It was playing two sports at a high level um, and I just documented it. So if you're out there and it could really change your life, let me tell you, because I worked like three part-time jobs. I was a caddy at Eastlake. I was a um, account manager for a weight room distribution company. I with doing all this stuff like with content and then now it got to the point where I can do it full time and let me just tell you if you put your mind to it you can stay consistent you really just see it build um, obviously you got to strategize and attack the algorithm the right way but you got to strategize so now we're working on YouTube so this is uh, my sign here or my uh, attack you should call it into YouTube I think uh, I'm gonna try to do one vlog a week and if you like these videos if you like more of a vlog style put it in the comments I'll be sure to do a bunch of them for you and also a lot of golf stuff so I'm gonna be vlogging at tournaments vlogging when I go like travel somewhere vlogging everyday life like this so let me know what you think and uh, I hope that was a little bit of help for you guys oh and by the way here is a big one but look at that email right there what does that say Amazon doing brand deals with Amazon oh my gosh like I don't even I don't even know it's crazy, literally crazy. Um, I'm sure that it'll already be out by now, but usually I do some work for them on TikTok and Instagram. Hopefully do some on YouTube for you guys, but this is not, that's not crazy. Amazon wanted me to do a video for them. Bro, what? And we are off, headed to uh, TPC Sugarloaf. Joining my buddy Evan Ingram, and I think we're playing with our trainer as well. We train at the same facility here in Atlanta. Going with my go-to breakfast. Got a white gummy bear rain, undefeated, never lost. Going with a uh, the peanut butter perfect bar, really good ingredients. Uh, fills me up in the morning. Not a not a big old like have a lot of food in the morning, and then obviously we got to go with the banana to keep away from the cramps. So monkey never crump. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we just got to the course. Check this out. A little par three over water and then look at those houses bro holy cow dude there's like million dollar homes on the course i'm excited uh evan just joined here so i'm super pumped to uh to play this course with him and shoot a little under par round baby all right we're locked in ready to go take a look at this bad boy right here you guys are looking for a good bag this is the one i'm going with i think it's the player four by vessel um, the iron, the iron color is sick, but uh, we're gonna rock the uh, echoes today. Got a little fit on from, you can see it Roan, and just gonna vlog the day, show what Evan has in store. He's been grinding on his golf game, and so have I. So qualifier next week, um, game's feeling sharp, but we just gotta keep on getting better. So let's get to work, baby. That's a baby right there. <laughs> One of those weeks, bro. Yeah, get them shanks out, baby. <laughs> Good God. Just straight, just straight. I mean, doesn't even golf. Just right at the pin. <laughs> Let's go. This is what I do to tees. <laughs> That's insane, bro. How do you even split a tee in three directions? I've never seen a tee split like that before. <laughs> oh, 
would you look at that? All right, well, we ended up in the right rough. Look at our ball. Right there, have to work left and over those trees. Oh my gosh. Dude, it's still, go in hole. Go in, go in, go in, go in. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Bro, this was his first two shots of the year. Evan's done. Tap in birdie for Koi. I got a... Holy cow. That almost went in. <laughs> hey, Koi's been grinding. All right, let's see. I'm going to put y'all right here. I'm going to try to hit like a high cut around. With a pitching wedge. It's going to be tough. Bring it on back. Bring it on back. That was pretty saucy there. Pretty saucy. Middle of the green. Here we go. Let's make a run today. <laughs> Dude, look at this. What, how far do you have back there? He hit right here. Was, this is where you hit, bro. Oh, right yeah. there. Yeah. I said I had like went, one like 52. 152? 152. Holy moly. I'm I literally watched that roll down this hill, and it was like rolling right at it. I think that's the closest you can get. Dude, that is like, wow. Hey, you wanna see it go in? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, that's a good birdie. Let's go. Let's first go, birdie baby. First birdie of the year. First hole of the year. Three shots on the three first shots. hole. <laughs> first three shots of the year. Hey, Ev, he's off to a hot start. We got about, what is this, 20 feet up the hill, left to right. Cat, do you like that read right there? I like it. Right. Left to right. Left to right, big time. Big time swinger. Let's see if I can get the job done on the first. Go. Oh, good effort. Another right read. The Pebble Beach Pro Am. Second shot. Par five. Oh my, dude, that was like, all right, I told you the wrong club. You freaking striped that. Do I get to move my ball up a little bit since you gave me the wrong club? I didn't know you are going to hit it 160 yards. You said into, you're my caddy, bro. Yeah, into the wind. I'm, I'm moving my ball back up. Bro, I said into the wind. You can hit another one. Into bro, it, the wind? into the wind, you hit that like 160. What'd you hit, nine? 137. What do you hit, 150? You're nine? Oh, nine. Bro, that went right through the wind. I feel like it's not 130. I feel like it's a lot closer than that. It's bro, it's 120. <laughs> That's why. 120, play it like 130 shot. So we were completely wrong on that one. All right, redo. Now watch this go right into the hole. Proper club. I don't know what you did there, but do it exactly the same way. Oh my. That's in. That's in. There we go. There's the proper club. No. Just a lot of spin. Look at this path compared to that one. That's why you hit this one so far, because it was dead straight and this one was left. I came across it? Yeah, you came across it, so you take like 10 to 20 yards off it. Shoot, those are two good shots though. Alright, we got a uh, eagle putt on on the way, and then we got a birdie putt on the way. Let's see if one of us can roll one of them in. You got a friendly, you got friendly competition over here. Alright, look at that. From 212, we landed right there and rolled. Right here. So now we're about, what's that? 20 feet or so for the eagle. This is where I gotta capitalize. I feel like a lot of the time when I do play events or qualifiers, I just don't capitalize on opportunities. So we're gonna make an effort here to uh, roll this one in. Let's go. Eagle. Let's go. Let's go, baby. That putter back out. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that, was a, that was a big putt. A little eag piece. Now they both got par putts. Yeah. Eve for par. Koi's for par. Them boys. Ah! Good roll, bro. First of all, look at this man. He's using <laughs> a top flight that is like bent opposite direction. So we're going to let him use my putter see what he's got I like that read too low downhill oh I just pulled it that was a good roll though all right Ev goes 
Take a bogey. Oh, both take a bogey. Evan makes an eek. So that was a three-shot swinger right there. Ooh, three shot. The boys, eagle. the boys go from one up to uh, two down. Great eagle. <laughs> Say it again. It's a great eagle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got to find a weekend to uh, make a little trip to a course to get that game in good shape. Who out there wants to host us? Me and Ev come and play. Put in the uh, comments if you had a membership to a course or if you know of somebody that can get us on somewhere nice, let us know. Because we're out here at Sugarloaf. And it's been a beauty so far. Here's another birdie try to get us a three under. This is going to be a tough putt on top of a ridge. I'm in the fringe actually, so a little long on this pin, but. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a huge ridge right here. So, and the pin is right on top of it. Let's see if we can make it. Yeah, you got a tough read. But that doesn't mean we can't make it, though. No. No, glass half full. Always. You ain't making this, dude. Why are you even standing over it like that? What'd you say? Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Oh. <laughs> She's oh still going. She's still going. I told you that. that this pin's on top of a ridge. You can see it, Koi? Yeah. All right. It was. It's literally right on top of a hill. Dang, I got a lot farther than I want. We're gonna throttle this man. He's doing some sort of like lead thing. I don't know what that is. Where you got it going, bro? A little left? Left to right? This is a absurd pen. Like right on this ridge. All right, he's going for par. what happens when you talk junk. All right, I'm gonna set y'all up so you can see my part putt. Oh my, three putt bogey. I guess I'm not very good with the uh, distractions. <sighs> happens to the best of them, doesn't it? All right, we're gonna be playing the last hole with these things on. Still. This is gonna be sick. Close, bro. That's gone. That was very close. These things are sick. Apparently, you can talk. I'm about to go through mud. Here we go. Apparently, you can talk to these glasses, and AI will tell you like what it is. So, like, if I look at the tee box, it'll tell me it's a tee box or like a bridge or something. So, we're going all the way back here to the tips where I belong. We're gonna be playing the hole with the Ray-Bans on. So here we go. Let me set y'all up. Oh, I hope you guys got to smell that. Got to see that, because that's right down in the middle, okay? All right, we are finished nine holes. Unfortunately, we can't play all 18, but we're gonna uh, tally up the scorecard. Finished at one under today. Not too bad. How's it going? Excuse us, fellas, my bad. Tiger Woods, baby. Uh, good round today. How do you feel? Hey man, not too good on the front, but that back nine is gonna be, it's gonna be nice. Back nine is gonna be nice. It's funny because I'm not gonna witness it, so he's gonna send me a text saying, oh, 39 just broke 40, just broke 40. This <laughs> would be nuts. That was fun though, that was a good time. Wow, that was fun. That was a good time. They're always uh, good people. Evan's a good good guy and a better man. He's uh, addicted to golf, which I love. Um, we uh, typically play a lot. So I'm gonna head back to the crib. Got like an hour drive here from Sugarloaf. And um, yeah, get with the honey. And we're going on a date night. Little Valentine's pop-up bar, I believe. And then we're going to Capitol Grill tonight. So gonna have a great night. Um, had an awesome round, the one under today. Wasn't my best, wasn't my worst. Just a nice smooth one. So I'm um, excited to share with you guys more. And let's go on a date, baby, let's go. All right, just got back to the crib. I've been getting a lot of hate on my whip. So I have the Maverick and the thing is sick, right? Like look at that interior, sweet, right? I only got it for like 28 grand or so got the lariat version what is up with that why are you guys hating on it it's I, obviously it's a little smaller but i get almost 30 miles per gallon tell me a truck that's gonna do that 
But here's uh, what I love to do when I get back. I love to play with this man uh, out in the backyard. And it kind of takes my mind away from everything, especially on the golf course. So I am uh, I love doing this. That's why, I oh my God, now he's, now he's going to the other yard. Ah, ah, ah. Come. Sorry about that. That way, man. Freaking love it. Oh my goodness. Look at what Ashley did. Favorite beer, one of my favorite bars, my safe place. Then we have some Advil, which solves my migraines. Then we have, let's see, reasons why I love you. Oh my God, look at all those reasons. I don't even know if I love myself that many reasons. The Power to Change. That's gonna be a good book for sure. Wow, this basket is phenomenal. My favorite bagels, big bagel guy. Linen shirt. Hey, do you want me to wear this linen shirt tonight? Jacket? Hold it up. Nice. There, this is your first uh, introduction. Where are we going? What are we doing tonight? I have chicken nuggets in my mouth. She has chicken nuggies in her mouth, so let her uh, chew it up. We're going to the blind pig. I think I need a camera shot. <laughs> I can Here. Try. Maybe you can see yourself. We are going to the blind pig for a little drink date before our dinner date. It's going to be so good. The whole restaurant is pink, so I'm really excited for Evan to go. Not very excited. And be in a room full of pink decorations. I, uh, I'm and not... they only serve pink drinks, pink beer too. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I'm not excited about the pink part, but I am excited to see her excited. Right, we're all ready to go. I'm in a little uh, linen shirt that she got me for Valentine's Day. What you got on, babe? A red dress. Where's it from? Baby Boo. Baby boo. My baby boo. Oh, all right. Here we go. Got the fit on. Heading down to Buckhead, Atlanta. Here we go, baby. Date night. Date night. Pookie looks absolutely gorgeous this evening. Thank you. Words of wisdom out there for you guys. Take your girl on a date once a week, at least. You'll reap the benefits of it. Yeah, Trust you me. Yeah, will reap the benefits tonight. <laughs> we made it. We made it. She has this lip plumper on and it makes and it swells her lips up because they she thinks it, it looks really my good, lips up. but it really hurts mine. So, uh, I switched though, the other one like would welt your cheeks up. This one doesn't do that, it would literally okay. swell my cheek up because of the chemicals in it. Freaking it's wild. just cinnamon. Do we go in here? No. Oh. Just oh. trust the process. Oh, I see the pink. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so if Ashley had a girl cave, this is exactly this what is it would what look it would like. Be like. Just know if there was a man cave and then they made it for girls, this is what she would look like. This is what it would look like. Quick math, cheers to that, dude. Girl math. Mine's really good. Cheers. <laughs>